A ball kicked off the soccer field follows the trajectory given by y equal to minus 5x squared plus 20x minus 15. In a coordinate system which is on the plane of the trajectory with the x-axis on the ground and the y-axis perpendicular to the ground, draw a diagram showing the path of the ball. What is the maximum height that the ball will reach? What is the total displacement of the ball? Since we're looking for the maximum of y, we put the equation for y into the standard form. Because in the standard form, we can easily read off the vertex, which gives us the maximum. y is equal to minus 5x squared plus 20x minus 15. To put this in the standard form, that is the form y is equal to a x minus h squared plus k for some h and some k we factor minus 5 from the first two terms inside the bracket we add a 4 how I get the 4 is this way look at the coefficient of x that's minus 4 divided by 2 to get minus 2 and square it to get plus 4 this is the number that you add and subtract inside the bracket. You would get x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus 4 and then minus 15. This is equal to minus 5 times. The first three terms will give you a complete square, which is x minus 2 squared. This minus 2 is the same as this minus 2 that you obtained before. You have a minus 4 and a minus 15. Now we can multiply minus 5 into this bracket to simplify the expression on the right hand side. We would get minus 5 x minus 2 squared plus 20 and we also have a minus 15. This becomes minus 5 x minus 2 squared plus 20 minus 15 which is 5. This is standard form. The vertex is found this way. What is the value of x which will turn the quadratic term that is x minus 2 squared into 0? That is x equal to 2. And once we plug this into the equation, the value of 2 for x, we see that y becomes 5. 2 and 5 is the ver are the vertex, vertex coordinates in this example. Now to find the y and x intercept in order to sketch the curve, we follow the procedure. To find the y intercept, we put x equal to 0 in y. And y becomes minus 5, 0 squared plus 20 times 0 minus 15 and this is minus 15. To find the x-intercept we put y equal to 0 and we solve for x. y is equal to minus 5 x minus 2 squared plus 5. If y is equal to 0, we learn that minus 5 x minus 2 squared plus 5 must be 0. We can solve this equation to find the x intercept. Let's move this 5 to the other side of the equation. We would have minus 5 x minus 2 squared is equal to minus 5. If we divide both sides of the equation by minus 5, we see that x minus 2 squared is equal to 1. If we take the root of both sides of this equation, we arrive at x minus 2 equal to plus or minus 1. And if we move the minus 2 to the other side, we would have x is equal to 2 plus or minus 1. 
Therefore, there are two x-intercepts. x-intercept would be either 2 minus 1, which is 1, or 2 plus 1, which is 3. So there are two values for the x-intercept. Let's now sketch the curve. Since we're interested in the actual motion of the ball, we do not have to plug, plot the y-intercept, which is minus 15. In fact, the vertex is at 2 and 5, which is here, so that's the vertex. And one of the x-intercepts is 0 and 1. This is the x-intercept. And the other x-intercept is also 0 and 3. Therefore, a sketch of the curve would be By looking at this sketch, we can tell that the maximum height of the ball is 5 meters, and the total displacement is on the horizontal axis, x-axis, and it is from point zero and one to point zero and three. Or in other words, the total displacement is two meters in the positive x direction. Since we are asked to sketch the curve, we proceed as follows. We show the intercept, minus 15 for the y-intercept, and 1 and 3 for the x-intercept. Then we also show the vertex, which is located at 2 and 5. And then we connect the points in this way. We should know that this is just a sketch and uh, the important points on this sketch are the x-intercept, the y-intercept, and the vertex.